fine uh, what is the contents uh, we are going to cover for this uh, in the sainik navodhya course and uh, what is the brief explanation about this course everything i am going to explain thereafter so the contents i am going to carry for this uh, session is all about the introduction of uh, the sainik and navodhya course and who is going to conduct the examination which organization is going to conduct the examination for both sainik and navodhya and how many schools are there all over in india and as well as in karnataka i am going to explain and eligibility criteria who and all can apply for this uh, eligible uh, this sainik and the navodhya schools and which schools uh, people can opt it and what are the seats are available how many seats are available who and all can apply what is the reservation on that seats so everything i am going to explain and the selection process how they will select it how they will uh, exhibit the uh, results everything uh, will be uh, explained thereafter so after that uh, i'm going to explain about the examination pattern for both sainik and as well as navodhya and the syllabus comparison uh, what are the syllabus which will covered in sainik and as well as navodhya and the results what are the results is there everything i am going to explain about that uh, fee structure how to study and uh, for this competitive examination what and all the students need to know uh, when uh, preparing for this kind of competitive examinations so what is the benefits of taking this course everything i am going to explain fine i'm going to the next slide dear parents thereafter whatever i'm explaining please have a look on it and make a note of it so that it will be useful for the students to explain from your end yes uh, now let me give a brief explanation about the jawahar navodhya school and the sainik schools see jawahar navodhya vidyalaya schools and as well as sainik schools both will give uh, quality education Come wherever uh, the students are present studying in the central board or ICSC sport, the same kind of quality education is given in the both Sainik and Navodhya schools, which improves their holistic development. Their top choices in India. So it will come. What is the Jawahar Navodhya school and what is the Sainik school? So Jawahar Navodhya school, which has been established by the government of India. Okay, so it will be fully controlled under the government of India, following the central board of secondary education syllabus. cbse syllabus whereas in sainik school it is uh, uh, it is under the control of ministry of defense fine it is under the control of ministry of defense in which makes the students to prepare for their national defense academy so in order to go for the career into that they will train to the nda national defense academy so this is what all about the savahar navodhya vidyalaya schools and sainik schools coming to the next slide fine who is going to conduct the sainik school examination and navodhya school examination uh, navodhya school examination is under the control of navodhya vidyalaya samiti and sainik school is under the kind of control of sainik school society so the test is come under jnbsst in for navodhya means jawahar navodhya vidyalaya samiti selection test so those people will conduct the test under the frequency of once in a year so the students can eligible to write the entrance examination for jawahar navodhya vidyalaya samiti selection test only once in a year fine and going to the sainik school sainik school is under the sainik school of society which is under the control of aisse all india sainik school entrance examination we can say it so i this will be conducted by the test will be conducted see here how the selection test named as jawahar navodhya vidyalaya samiti selection test in navodhya same like that for sainik the test will be conducted by national testing agency one of the top most agency uh, who is conducting all the competitive examination all the difficult competitive examination under the control of national testing agency so sainik is one of the toughest entrance examination where the students need to prepare well for it and get a good coaching so that they can able to crack in the national testing agency question papers so aisse website you can get the uh, application form so that you can apply for it 
um, for the examination national testing agency is going to conduct the entrance examination and the frequency of the examination here also once in a year only conducted but here in the case is the students are eligible to attempt the examination for two times between the age of 10 to 12 years whereas in navodaya only one time the student is able to attempt the examination so this is the difference between the examination of the navodaya and the sainik fine we are going and sainik schools all over the india and as well as in the karnataka see if you check it in this ppt in navodaya there will be like total school uh, around the six is either plus or minus will be there initially if you check in each and every district of india in any every state minimum one school will be there or maximum like two or three will be there for the uh, Navod navodaya school whereas in karnataka also there will be considered like a total school of 31 this also we can consider like plus or minus uh, two so either 31 or 32 or 33 like that it will go because it is comes under like every district one one school will be there whereas in sainik school there will be like totally existing school we can say so uh, initially whatever they have established at the year of 1962 onwards so that existing school all over the india is exactly 33 whereas uh, in karnataka there will be like four schools that existing schools in that in that we can see there is four schools in karnataka the sainik schools fine now going to the next slide Yes, I told already what are those uh, 33 existing schools of Sainik. There you can see the list of it, how many schools are there and what is the school's name according to the state. So uh, I have uh, segregated that uh, school's names in the form of uh, alphabetical order of the state names like Andhra Pradesh, then going to Arunachal Pradesh, Meghalaya, Silong. So like that, if you go continuously, so like that, the Sainik schools are available. So totally here, I have made out a list of totally 33 Sainik schools. Uh, every uh, Parents, uh, if you are all uh, seeing my PPT, you just have a note on it, uh, what and all schools are there. And you just uh, consider that you belong to which states. So if some of the parents doesn't belong to Karnataka, they belong to some other states, for them that state means, uh, if you, for example, if you consider uh, the parents are from uh, Andhra Pradesh, so Andhra Pradesh, the school's name is called Sainik School Kaurakonda and Sainik School Kalkeri. Similarly, uh, for Maharashtra, Satara is there, okay, and Orisha, Bhuvaneshwar, Sambalpur is there. So everything like uh, Tamil Nadu, Amravati Nagar is there. In Karnataka, if you can see, Bijapur is there, Kodagu is there. So these are the existing 33 Sainik schools. Now, come apart from the existing Sainik school, our Honorable Prime Minister, Mr. Modi ji, has established 21 more new Sainik school. Okay, this existing Sainik school is under the control of Ministry of Defense means this will under the control of public private public private agency so where uh, it is under the control uh, it is also under the ages of ministry of defense whereas it is direct control of ministry of defense but this 21 new signing school under the control of ages of Ministry of Defense. So those uh, new signing schools, schools also I have been registered in the right side of this PPT. So everyone please note and uh, make a note of this. What are the schools, uh, new schools has been established. See this, most of the schools has been established in the year 2022. Okay, so 2022 it has been established. So all these schools are like uh, some of the parents uh, want to go for the oldest school. Some of the parents uh, want to go for, uh, they are sticking only with the oldest school. But it is not like that. Even the new schools, whatever established by Honorable Prime Minister, those uh, schools also giving the quality educations. And here some schools are like under the control of the day schools. Some schools under the control of entirely the residential school. Whereas this 33 existing Sainis school is purely a residential school. Here, some schools are residential and some schools under like a day schools. Regular schools will be there. 
so these are the totally uh, list of schools i have uh, listed out here everyone please note uh, make a note of it okay fine and moving on to the next slide now i have make a list of the jawahar navodaya school particularly for the karnataka see most of the parents belongs to bangalore state itself i mean bangalore city itself they belongs to karnataka so if they belongs to the other part of the karnataka also they can apply for them whether if they are having their aadhar card in that particular district so they can get a residential certificate and the, apart from that they can get a seats in that particular school fine um parents uh, the meeting will end up another 10 minutes uh, so if anything happens uh, if, i mean uh, uh, if it is get disconnected means please uh, continue after this because we have a long session so that you people have a very good knowledge about it so that please consider this one and go accordingly you can rejoin it accordingly so now i'm carry on with this so totally uh, you can see the list of the schools jawahar navodaya schools uh so to uh, 31 schools i have make a list of it apart from 32 31 there is so two more schools also there okay that will be uh, listed out after that okay so totally like jawahar navodaya school the list of uh, schools have been given here please have a note on it fine now if you see the uh, jawahar navodaya school even i have make a list of the Sainik schools in Karnataka. See, one of the oldest school I explained already. It is in Bijapur. Start of year is nineteen sixty three, and Sainik school in Kodagu. Start of the year two thousand seven. Mysore Sainik school. Start of the year twenty twenty two, and Sangoli Rayanna school in Belgaum. It start of the year twenty twenty two. So parents no need to worry. In Mysore and Belgaum school also will almost follow the same rules and regulations. Whatever is followed in the Bijapur and Kodagu schools. Fine. Now going on to the next slide. Yes. What is the difference between the Navodaya school and the Sainik school? So uh, this uh, session is almost about the comparative study. So uh, the difference, what we can make it here, the Navodaya and Sainik school. Uh, see, people make a note on it here. Who and all can apply for it? Who is eligible for this? Everything I have listed out. See here for Navodaya school, uh, girls and boys both are eligible to write the class six admission test at the under the Navodaya schools. Uh, the every students belong to that particular district. Uh, locating into that particular district, they are eligible to apply for this admissions, and uh, they need to continuously, continuously uh, need to study in the same school and collect the study certificate before applying for the Navodaya. Because uh, for uh, while applying for the Navodaya examination, so the mandatory documents they will uh, uh, accept. the study certificate and the residential certificate so everyone uh, while applying please make sure that we need to attach the same so that is what i have explained here students claiming the admission under the rural quota must have studied under the same class uh, continuously consecutive years up from third standard to fifth standard in the recognized schools then only that particular school will issue the study certificate with the gazetted officer signature like hm signature so that will be considered to attach for the navodaya application form whereas in sainik school here the age limit matters here like uh, between 10 to 12 years students can write the examination if the student is in fourth standard and they have already completed the 10 years of age then that student can write the examination for the sixth standard entrance examination it means they need to skip the fifth standard and need to join directly into sixth standard but apart from that the student has to train well with all the syllabuses whatever they are going to cover for the competitive examination of science school then only the student will crack the examination similarly if the student is in 6th standard so that student also available uh, if he is in under the age of 12 years that student also can apply for the examination so that the student need to write the exam, i mean uh, study the 6th standard for 2 years that also possible 
so uh, either if the student is in fourth standard fifth standard sixth standard if they between the age of 10 to 12 years they are eligible to write the examination and the attempt of examination is for two, two times this what i explained in the start of this uh, session itself and uh, one more thing i need to say it here also both boys and girls can apply for the sixth standard scientific entrance examination whereas if you go for the ninth standard only a boy child can apply for the scientific school entrance examination not a girl child fine now going to the schools which uh, under the scientific schools as i said earlier particularly the domicile district students can apply if the students belongs to the rural area then the student is uh, belongs to that rural district means they can apply for that district so that they can get the seat on that particular school whereas in scientific school if they belong certificate from that uh, uh, so where you are having a permanent address so the, then you can get a domicile certificate from that particular state uh, uh, office tahsildar office so that uh, that student can eligible to write uh, or uh, i mean uh, uh, eligible to enter into that particular schools like satara so all those things now moving on to the next slide navodaya so for example uh, we can say for navodaya school how many seats are available means it is like uh, for sixth standard entrance examination uh, approximately they will give like 80 seats so in that 80 seats also it will they will come under some category they will give preference for the first the uh, uh, um, sc st caste people lower income below poverty line people and for the uh, girl child so these are the things will come under this 80 seats whereas in scientific school school to school it varies so they will give more preference only for the home state people so uh, in order to apply for this examination scientific school parents everyone just take it within 2 3 weeks at any time they will release the notification scientific notification will be released the application so everyone be ready with the domicile certificate with with the corresponding uh, so uh, tahsildar office you just go and enquire that collect the domicile certificate if you belong to that particular state means collect the uh, certificate accordingly here the both boys and girls can apply for this seat under the category of general obc non creamy layer sc st cas and defense uh, people also so whereas uh, the candidates uh, he need to get here all the scientific schools will uh, check only with the basis of uh, ring ranking list so they need to secure more than the cut off marks whatever their uh, quoting so for example bijapur uh, they will almost quote like out of 300 they need to quote uh, they need to get uh, students need to get more than 270 275 like that then only the student according to the ranking they will get the seat so all the students make sure that we need to prepare well for the examination that is more and more important while preparing for the ex entrance examinations so moving on to the next slide yes sir. many of the parents doesn't know what is meant by the domicile certificate and what is meant by the residence certificate see uh, here the domicile certificate uh, aadhar card we are considering as a permanent proof um, uh, id proof so this is also considered as a permanent proof so this we can say in hindi moola pramana patra so whereas the birth place of the parent uh, who lives permanently thereafter in that state means they need to collect the domicile certificate uh, from that particular state for example people from karnataka they belongs to that particular state you need to collect the uh, domicile certificate in the karnataka state itself uh, with your permanent address whereas the, in the residence certificate it will be take, called as samanya nivas patra in hindi means wherever they are residing see people from bijapur they are residing in bangalore with in a um, what i can say rental address means they can collect the residential certificate in the uh, bbmp office so this is the difference between the domicile certificate and the residence certificate fine now moving on to the next uh, slide uh, yes um, as i explained before itself according to this uh, seats availability navodaya out of that 80 seats also area wise they will uh, categorize it like uh, rural area 75 percentage of seat will be allocated and for urban area 25 percentage of seat will be allocated whereas in gender wise boys girls like 67 percentage of seats is there whereas in girls 33 percentage of seats is there 
So SC and ST cash minimum 15 percentage and 7 percentage and maximum 15 percentage of both the uh, uh, categories will taken together. And for a lot from the apart from that, it is like physically challenged people, three percentage will be given. Similarly, for Sainik school also, uh, like Uh, welcome back to the session, one more uh, parents. Uh, fine, uh, now I'm going to the next slide. Uh, now, seats uh, I have explained before. So, Sainik, uh, how many states, uh, how many seats are available, like percentage wise? Home state, like 67 percentage of seats are available, whereas in the other state, like 33 percentage of seats will be available. So, Karnataka state people make sure that you have the eligibility of uh, attend the examination with uh, 67 percentage of seats. So, if you belong to the Andhra Pradesh, means Andhra Pradesh people also the same kind of thing, but they need to apply for that particular schools. Amara uh, like Korkonda, Kalkeri, like that. So, these are the examples I'm giving. The seats 15 percentage, and for scheduled drive people, 7.5 percentage, and for non creamy layer, 27 percentage, and for the child of uh, like ex serviceman, defense person means 25 percentage, and for girls, almost like 10 seats will be available. So, this is all about the reservation seats in Sainik and Navodhya. Moving on to the next slide. Uh, yes, uh, what is how the examination procedure? What is the selection process and everything? Um, see, uh, for Navodaya schools, uh, they will how the results will be declared. So here, Navodaya schools they will not uh, declare the results uh, uh, like uh, with the merit basis. They will uh, check with the merit basis, but they will give the results only like whether they have qualified or not qualified. They will not uh, uh, exhibit the marks in the Navodaya schools uh, examinations. Whereas in Sainik school, they will re release the uh, marks along with that merit list. So here, the region-wise merit list they will consider in Navodaya and the documents will be verified. Accordingly, the list of students will be finally confirmed for the admission for that particular schools. Considering they will give only the list of name, categories and the date of birth. Whereas in Sainik schools, all the people uh, can eligible to apply, apply either uh, the civilians also can apply. So for them, they will mainly check with the results with the merit basis. So everyone need to make sure that the students need to crack uh, marks uh, accordingly. So then only the written examination will get, they will get qualified and then they will move on to the e-counseling session and to finally to the medical examination. Then they will get admission to the Sainik schools. Now, moving on to the examination pattern for Sainik and Navodhya and the syllabus comparison. So, whatever the Navodhya and Sainik examination pattern. See, if you check here for Navodhya, there will be like a mental ability test will be there, arithmetic test will be there, language test will be there. So, mental ability is nothing but it is fully based on the picture comprehension, picture based question, non-verbal reasoning we can say. So here not at all come under reasoning area. It will come under the non-verbal reasoning, which improves the skills of the students. IQ knowledge will be improved. Whereas um, uh, in um, science school, instead of mental ability, they will give intelligence test, where in intelligence sense, only reasoning question will be asked. Um, here um, in uh, Navodhya, mental ability, non-verbal reasoning questions will be asked. Arithmetic, what is meant by arithmetic? Many of them will know, doesn't know that. Arithmetic means it nothing but a mathematics only. So mathematics questions are only asked. And language, they will give the preference only for the English language. So English test will be given to that. So out of 40 questions in mental ability, 50 marks will be allocated. Arithmetic test, 20 questions, 25 marks. Language test, 20 questions, 25 marks. Totally 100 marks question paper will be provided for two hours. So it is entirely the objective type, not a subjective type of question paper. The students need to answer in a OMR based paper. So the total duration of the exam will be like two hours. There is no negative marking in this. 
whereas in sainik school um the syllabus uh, type of uh, subjects they will uh, carry is mathematics intelligence language and general knowledge mathematics 50 question will be asked remember each question carries three marks so means only if they are well aware and get practiced in mathematics itself the student can get around 150 marks in the mathematics itself and intelligence 25 questions where intelligence you can say some all the reasoning questions like puzzles based um what i can say coding decoding uh, series uh, completion these are all come under the intelligent base so here 25 question will be asked for two uh, each question carries two marks so totally 50 questions and um, 50 marks 25 questions for a language also it is language means english they need to well prepare for the grammar part the comprehension part everything so each question carries two marks so totally 50 marks for the language test and for general knowledge it comes under both science and social so it will almost to, uh, together uh, asking questions like 25 so each question carries two marks so totally 50 marks so out of 125 questions uh, they will uh, cover the marks like 300 marks so totally uh, this is also the omr based question paper no negative marking here uh, then the total duration of the examination is 2 and 1/2 hours navodya it is only 2 hours for 100 mark question paper here for 300 mark question paper they are providing only 2 and 1/2 hours this is the difference between the test patterns of navodya and sainik now uh, going to this um, uh, syllabuses parents please make a note of this almost for both navodaya and the uh, sainik uh, arithmetic navodaya we can call as the arithmetic whereas in sainik we call it as a max almost the syllabus are same only two three chapters will differ for example here in the data press representation is there in uh, navodaya school which is one of the easiest chapter in the mathematics that is not asked in the sainik here the plain figures for example in sainik school it is almost the geometrical questions and all will be asked here in arithmetic no geometry type of questions will be asked apart from that all the chapters is almost same so that if the student is preparing for the sainik then the student is eligible to write the navodaya examination and he can crack the mark so that is the difference between the syllabus of mathematics for both sainik and navodaya yes in english also almost same in english uh, only the grammar part make sure that the students need to aware of all the grammar questions like articles nouns pronouns verbs adverbs adjectives everything whatever we studied in the uh, sainik the same questions will be like uh, I mean question might be difficult in the sainik when compared to navodaya but the topics is covered almost same here only difference is here the meanings and uh, opposites what we called in uh, pure english like synonyms and antonyms will be asked idioms and phrases will be asked and one word substitutions these are the extra syllabus will not be covered in the navodaya but apart from that uh, see here you, you here you can uh, just a useful vocabulary synonyms synonyms and one word substitutions everything is there no uh, in sainik they need to uh, study uh, fully like in a brief manner but whereas here this the vocabulary only they have refer that itself enough for them so because in only half or one, one or two questions will be asked in the now they are uh, in this particular topics whereas here you are correcting correcting the spellings confusion words these are all not there in the navodaya entrance examination test fine now moving on to the next slide intelligence and the difference between the intelligence and the mental ability see i previously i already explained in the previous slide intelligence is full and full of verbal reasonings whereas in mental ability is full and full of the non verbal reasoning verbal reasonings comes under like blood relations classification clocks and calendars whereas in mental ability it is like analogy uh, odd man out picture matching pattern completion everything they will ask like a picture based method so here while do, while preparing for this mental ability even for the students they will be aware of uh, uh, taking the knowledge of how to uh, think wisely so this is one more thing fine yes now uh, moving on to the 
gk part what and all gk subjects is handled in the signing syllabus see here i have make a list of the syllabus what and all is covered for the gk here it is added both the science topic and as well as the social studies topic so everyone please make a look on it and have a note it so that it will be useful for the parents and as well as the students apart from that here in gk everyone will be prepared for the miscellaneous topics and the current affair topics also compared to science and social they need to aware for the current affairs so they need to well prepared with the day to day activities day to day news whatever they, they are hearing that will be more useful for them to uh, crack here you know, two or three marks for the current affairs fine now moving on to the next see this is how the right hand side the mental ability question paper uh, questions will be there see in the right hand side uh, what is this the mental ability questions is given and uh, what is that intelligence question is given so this is the difference between mental ability and the intelligence gk i told already it comes under general science and social science intelligence is a verbal test mental ability is a non verbal test it is purely based on the figures and diagrams only fine so right hand side if many of the students uh, may might have solved uh, this question in the coaching what we are giving at present so this will be uh, useful for them for uh, this kind of questions only will be asked in the entrance examination fine moving on to the next slide results how they will declare the result now they are they will just declare the result whether they will just say that whether the student is selected or not selected there will be no marks displayed or uh, nothing will be displayed or merit list whatever it may be they will not display anything they will just inform you through the mail uh, whatever you are providing or through the phone number what you are providing whether they selected or not selected whereas in signing school results they will declare the result along with the merit list see and what about the fee structure when they get the admission in the schools for jawahar navodaya vidyalaya schools there will be like a category for navodaya uh, uh, class 6th to 8th standard students is fully like pre education okay and for class 9th onwards for both uh, um, um, only for boys they will charge but for girl child from 9th to 12th standard right from 6th to 12th for girl child they will not charge any fees but for boy child that too under the category like they when they belongs to that uh, under the poverty line and they belongs to like uh, sc st caste for the, for those people they will not charge any fees but when they belongs to under the civilians category and above the part, uh, poverty line that boy child then for them like around monthly they will charge 600 rupees after the ninth standard not before the ninth standard so this is for the navodaya exam school uh, fees and for signing schools uh, here uh, um, what the case is uh, it is quite a high, high huge because it everything will come under that uh, medical sports activities co curricular activities uh, uh, food um, whatever the providing in the mess and the, um, the staying accommodation and tuition fees everything will be added um, here also in navodaya the same thing the same quality will be provided but here it is entirely free but in signing school they will charge like a huge amount of like this is applicable for the entire academic year not for a monthly basis it will varies from like 1,27,500 to 1,60,000 rupees and the can candidates uh, studying in the signing schools are eligible for the scholarship also so the uh, under the basis of the parents income for signing school apart from that if the student has secured the very good merit list more than uh, cut a good cut off marks they are scoring and after going after joining there they are scoring a very good marks means uh, under the basis of merit also they will get uh, some concession in the fees now going to uh, see how to prepare for that and what and all uh, need to take activities like how to study for the signing and navodaya entrance examination main thing for proper planning should to be there 
So the most important step is that they need to analyze where in which topics they are weak. So that weak spots and all they need to uh, recover rate, figure it out and uh, they need to struggle accordingly and practice continuously. Then only they can crack the examination and they need to prepare an effective timetable to make an efficient time to prepare for the Navodhya examination and as well as Sainik examination. Main thing is time management should be there. Then only they can practice the questions and answer the while properly. Moving on to this. Yes. Uh, who and all is, uh, what is the difference between the normal schools and as well as these, uh, these uh, schools? What are the board examination? Uh, what is the difference between the normal board examinations, what they are writing uh, at present and uh, difference between the competitive examination? See, for board examination, they mainly uh, mug it up, by heart it, or else they will simply understand the concept. They will focus only on the uh, board examination or only by understanding the concept. Here also they will focus not only understanding, they need to apply that concepts on their day-to-day -day life. So a real-time example is uh, applicable for the competitive examination. Here in the board examination, uh, whether the child knows, to, knows the fundamental, that is enough for them to crack the examination. Whereas in competitive examination, uh, they need to uh, apply each and everything into their real-time. So the, here the question paper is fully on the subjective type. Here it is objective type, means OMR sheet, they need to type uh, write it. In the board examination, main thing is they will give the marks according to the handwriting, presentation skill, and they, all those things uh, they will add it on and give the marks accordingly. Whereas in the Sainik and the Navodhya entrance competitive examinations, they will mainly focus on that, whether they have applied that fundamentals and they have given a proper output. So that is more important in that. Accordingly, they will secure the mark. See here, here, in board examination, the child is target to say to score at least 95 marks. So if they score 95 marks means then the score, child will be considered as a topper here. But in the competitive examination, each and every cutoff marks varies. If a percentage wise also, if it is varies means there will be a huge difference on the result. So be careful with the competitive examination preparation. It is not like a board examination. Fine. Now moving on to the next slide. What are the benefits of taking the Sainik and Navodhya, these things? See here, both uh, when you compare to the normal central board schools and Sainik school, both are uh, same like uh, normal schools here also. They will provide a quality education. Apart from that, they will give like a um, motivation that they will be like fully self-dependent. They will make you smart enough. And the, the, the student will become like a responsible citizen. Okay. When compared, the same like that in Sainik also, they will give preference to the physical fitness, outdoor activities. Apart from that, the, as they are coming under the Ministry of Defense and they are getting trained for the next discipline. So here also high quality of education will be provided, will make you to be more confident, highly skilled, patriotic. Main thing is the student uh, will get more and more patriotic. Youth community will be there so that leadership quality will come. So all this will be there for the Sainik schools. So apart from that, uh, many of them doesn't know what are the extra co-curricular activities will be given in the signing school. See, horse climbing will be taught, um, see, horse riding, mountain trekking, mountain climbing, um, fine, uh, whatever is there, like um, rifle shooting, swimming, all these extra activities, whatever the military people will get trained, the same kind of training will be given for the signing students also. Yes, sir. So this is all about this. Uh, yes, whatever the coachings uh, we are giving, um, like uh, the syllabus, whatever I explained before, all the syllabus will be covered within that eight months of durations. So uh, apart from that, in, in the crash course also, we are continuously giving the practice to the students to get crack in the examination. Similarly, our previous achiever in this uh, 2023 Sainik uh, academic year, many of the students have cracked for this examination. If you see the, this uh, banner, if you see that most of like, one more than 150 students have been secured for this and we got a very good reputation for this student because of these students so all of them have cracked the examinations more than 270 they have scored for example in signing uh, one child name called samarth kiragi 
Pranav Sindagi. These peoples are like uh, selected for the Kodagu schools. Okay, in 2023, they have been selected for the Kodagu schools. And apart from that Kodagu school, uh, they have been, uh, they have written in the Navodia school, rural area schools also. See, what are the rural area and the urban area in the Navodia school means? Bangalore rural area, uh, uh, Dodbalapur uh, one school is there. And Bangalore urban, Yalahanka school is there. So this child has applied for the Bangalore urban so where he got selected for this Navodaya Bangalore Urban Yalahanka School and as well as the Kodagu School. These are all our achievements as they taken from our coaching, from our coaching methodologies. See, these are the things. Uh, see, for Sainik, uh, Bijapur, uh, uh, Kodagu School is one of the oldest schools. There they are getting the seats means, uh, see how much importance they are providing. Uh, they are giving importance for practicing. So accordingly, uh, they are achieved. So like that, more than 150 students from 2023 have been achieved and get a good score and got selected in this Sainik School. This is what all about our achievements. See. I told already like um, Navodaya Ram Rishwit who has been selected for Andhra Pradesh Udaygiri district and for Navodaya Bengaluru Urban Pranav has been selected and for Samarth Kiragi 2023 in Kodagu school and Bangalore school he has selected and Nitin Yassar Kodagu school and Bangalore Urban. So these are the students who got selected for both Sainik and as well as Navodaya. They are giving importance accordingly and we got a very good reputation because of these students. So that kind of coaching we are giving. So parents make sure that not only uh, sending the uh, coaching here only, they need to practice at home also. Then only they can crack the competitive examinations. Fine. Now it's time for questions. Parents can ask any questions. Um, if anyone want to ask question, you just raise a hand so that we will unmute it so that they can ask the questions now. Good morning, ma'am. Uh, Jasmine, ma'am, some parent is asking some question. Can you please check? Sir, please tell me. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Yes, uh, madam, yes, sir, tell me. Domestic certificate, health order, madam. Uh, sir, in any other BBMP office, you can check, sir, once. Uh, residential, bandu BBMP office, sir. Huh. All like, early, sir, domicile certificate, or no? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Uh, okay, but now, the proper bandu now, but you know, the Bangalore. Hmm. So, we have the other card, Mughal, the address, uh, so Bangalore. Da. So, now we will go to Bangalore. Yeah, how does that? That is the difference. One already posted in the group. Alla difference. No, no, no. Once you go to BPMP office, al, which are sitra, they will tell. It is hmm. mandatory. It is mandatory. It is mandatory. It is mandatory. It is mandatory. You have to compulsorily upload the domicile certificate only. Uh -huh. hmm. uh, where in which in Navodaya Nali, since it is my, managed by central government, uh, they can give many options like Aadhaar card or residence cert certificate, something like that. But whereas in Sainik school, they will not give any options. Whatever is mandatory, we have to upload. So please, I request all parents to get it done for the domicile certificate. Okay, other than the end, documents are like you don't the Kalsidra, like Rupal Kalsidra. Ah, Kalsidin is said, Nani knows that no forward Martinante. Nala morning at five at Sanja forward Martinante. Same. Ah, yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Can I have the next? Madam, 
Yes, tell but me. For domicile certification, we have inquired. It is not available in BBMP since it is huh. residential certificate is different and uh, pramana vasa stala pramana patpa. That is different. So domicile hmm. certification to be submitted to tal uh, copies or not not what is it? Not a kacheri something. Uh -huh. uh, so we are not clear, madam. How exactly? Because the duration of domicile certification they are asking. If the child is studying for last five years is required or last two years is required, we are not having clear idea. So can you please? Uh, sir, help us I'll in... just check with any one of the parent last year parent. Then I'll get back to you by tomorrow morning. Ah, uh, something like that. I will notify please. whatever the message please. I receive from the parents that I'll yeah. take in the group. Thank you. Uh, Ma'am, from when the training school uh, application will be available? Uh -huh. I will notify, Ma'am. Uh, I'm browsing, I'm checking it daily. Once I get the notification, uh, I'll post in the uh, And one more thing, Ma'am, like uh, if we uh, select in the school while uh, giving in the application, after the results can be given to you. Ma'am, can, uh, can you please speak a bit louder? Yeah, Ma'am. Uh, can you hear me Other now? parents, please mute yourself. Other parents, so, please uh, mute yourself. So, session and the attend month the new attend month in Anna Vadega month. Please mute yourself. Yes, ma'am, tell me. Yeah, in the application, signing school application, if we have selected as the Kodagu initially, hmm. and hmm. after the result, is, can we change the schools? Uh, Mom, what happens, you know, no, the procedure is such like that. Uh, once the student is selected, they will give the e-counseling dates. In the e-counseling dates, you can give the priority wise your school options. Okay. So it will uh, not be in the application form which uh, initially... Of course, there which also you have to write. Once the student huh? qualifies, then they will open the e-counseling window. That also will notify okay. everything. There you can give the priority wise. If you are interested in Bijapur, there you can give the first option as a priority option as a Bijapur. The second option as a Kodagu. Third option as a Mysore. And fourth option as a Belgam, like that. Okay, okay. According to priorities and if the seats yeah, are Yeah, available, according to your priority, it. you can give the Based on their seat allotments, if seats are available, then they will call for the uh, interview. That is medical. Okay. 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 Mom. Yeah. Mom. Ha, tell me. Mom. Uh, now we completed signing and now the mom. What about the RMS, mom? RMS I'll notify dear. It ma, the application they will open the window in yeah, another no. one or two days. I'll just check the announcement. I'll notify. The same to the group. No need to worry. Mom, and the date for like uh, Navodaya and the signing exam? They will not coincide. Don't worry. No, ma'am. Ma and are we going to write the thing, uh, exam? Which date? Hello. Already in Navodaya, they have mentioned in the brochure only. I requested all parents to go through the brochure once again. It is, a, uh, I think, January. Even signing oh, also will be in the January, but in different dates. Okay. Ma'am. Ma Hello. 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 Uh, yeah, tell me. Hello. Hello. Sign application. Other Where parents, please get? mute yourself. Otherwise, I am supposed to Sign mute everyone. Hello. Ma'am. Ma'am. Signing school application, where do you get, ma'am? Ma'am, I know. AISST website, ma'am. Yes, yes. AISST website, we will notify, ma'am, whenever the, uh, they will release the notification. Okay, uh, in the group, we will just inform, like, how Navodhya Madhuri, ma'am, has uh, posted the message. Same like that, uh, you will get a notification in the group itself. So that okay, everyone now, can open that website. Till now, it is not at release. It will, another two, three weeks, it will get released, ma'am. So thereafter, you can okay. uh, just go through on it. See, in the application itself, they will ask about the preferences, which schools you want to apply for it. Before applying itself, make sure that you will get ready with the domicile certificate so that you need to attach along with the application form. Okay, apart from oh. that, uh, what is Mama. Ma'am, uh, 
ನನ್ ಮಗನ್ಗೆ ಅಪ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ ಹಾಕ್ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಮಗುಗೆ ಟೆನ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೇಕಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಬರೀಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಟೆನ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೇಕಾ no when after completion of exams only he need to take, complete 10 years okay exam bari bekagidre avunge 10 years 10 years yeah mam alli nimge application alli birth year mention madirtare mam so and so eligibility ant heli for example 2030 to so and so 23 aa tara kottirtare aa year alli if the child is born in that year then you, then only you can make alli new valid dates kottirtare ee date valagade inda ee date aa tara antan kottirtare so no need to worry they will give all the information uh, how we got the now the information brochure in the same way we'll get for the signing also rms bidtare inond helu mundinda okay ma'am is on in the 10 years rms bidtare ma'am hello ma'am ha tell me ma'am ಇನ್ನೊಂದ್ ಓಕೆ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಓಕೆ ಫೈನ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಗುಡ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ನೂನ್ ಮೇಡಮ್ ಹಾಂ ಹೇಳಿ ಸರ್ ಹಾಂ ಹೇಳಿ ಸರ್ ಹಾಂ ಮೇಡಮ್ ರಹವಾಸಿ ಪ್ರಮಾಣ ಪತ್ರ ಹಾಂ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ನಾವು ನಮ್ಮದೇ ಅಪ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ ಹಾಕಬೇಕಾರೆ ಹಾಂ ರಹವಾಸಿ ಪ್ರಮಾಣ ಪತ್ರ ಬೇಕಾಗಿಲ್ಲ ಆಧಾರ್ ಕಾರ್ಡಲ್ಲಿ ಅಡ್ರೆಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಇದ್ರೆ ಅಂತ ಈ ತರ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರು ಸರ್ ಆದ್ರೆ ನೀವು ಲೈಕ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಮೇಲ್ಗಡೆ ರೆಸಿಡೆನ್ಶಿಯಲ್ ಸರ್ಟಿಫಿಕೇಟ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿರ್ತಾರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಡೊಮಿಸೈಲ್ ಸರ್ಟಿಫಿಕೇಟ್ ಆ ತರ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿರ್ತಾರೆ ಬಟ್ ನನ್ ಈ ಡೌಟ್ ನ ಇನ್ನೊಂದ್ ಸತಿ ನನ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಇಯರ್ ಪೇರೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಹತ್ರ ಚೆಕ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ಅಂತ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಸರಿ ಸರ್ ಓಕೆ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಇಟ್ ಬೈ ಟುಮಾರೋ ಐ ಚೆಕ್ ವಿತ್ ಅದರ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಇಯರ್ ಪೇರೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಐ ಗೆಟ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಟು ಯು ಮೇಡಮ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಇದು ಡೊಮಿಸೈಲ್ ಸರ್ಟಿಫಿಕೇಟ್ ಅಡ್ಮಿಷನ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬೇಕಲ್ವಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ಇವಾಗ ಅಪ್ಲೋಡ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಪ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬೇಕಾ ಅಪ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಹಾಕಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಓ ಹೌದಾ ಓಕೆ ಓಕೆ ಹಾ ಹಲೋ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಹಾ ಟೆಲ್ ಮೀ ಸರ್ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಆರ್ಎಂಎಸ್ ಈ ರೀತಿ ಪ್ರೋಸೆಸ್ ಶೇರ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀರಾ ಅಂತ ಈಗ ಹೆಂಗ ನೀವು ಸೈನಿಕ್ ಕೋ ನಾವು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ಸರ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಅಪ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ ವಿಂಡೋ ಓಪನ್ ಆಗಿರಬಹುದು ನಾನು ಚೆಕ್ ಮಾಡಿಬಿಟ್ಟು ಶೇರ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ಅಂತ ಬೈ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ನೂನ್ ಓಕೆ ಓಕೆ parents who have cleared with their doubts they can exit the meeting parents who Excuse want to me, ask any more queries uh, they can start excuse me ma'am yeah tell me ma'am ma'am uh, certificate ela ivaga ready beka exam bariyuvaga illadre selection vaga avaga ready beku no 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 now itself you make it ready with the domicile certificate so that when the whenever the application got released so that you need to attach that uh, with the application form andre sainik exam ge compulsory domicile certificate beke beku yes mandatory ma'am okay okay okay, okay. Yeah. excuse me ma'am that what yeah tell me ma'am ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಸೈನಿಕ್ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ಗೆ ಯಾವ ಯಾವ ಡಾಕ್ಯುಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಬೇಕು ಅದೆಲ್ಲ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಅಪ್ಲೋಡ್ ಮಾಡೋಕ್ಕಾಗುತ್ತಾ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಆಸ್ಕ್ ಎನಿ ಡಾಕ್ಯುಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಟು ಪಾಸ್ಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಸೈಜ್ ಫೋಟೋಗ್ರಾಫ್ಸ್ ಸಿ ಆಸ್ ಸೂನ್ ಆಸ್ ದ ಅಪ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ ಗಾಟ್ ರಿಲೀಸ್ಡ್ ದಟ್ ನೋಟಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಹೌ ದ ನವೋದಯ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸೆಂಟ್ ನೋಟಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ಡಾಕ್ಯುಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಪೋಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಪೋಸ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಸೈನಿಕ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ so that time you pay, like before itself everyone will have the passport size photo will kept ready okay and aadhar card also kept ready and other things like um, um, what i can say that proof for domicile certificate that only make sure that we make it ready before itself apart from that they will not ask any other documents okay only these documents is mandatory we please make it get ready and before as soon as the application get released we will post it, all the documents what and all it required in the group also so no need to worry they will give some uh, time limit before that itself we will post it how to apply and what and all it there okay excuse me ma'am yeah 
ಹಲೋ ಮೇಡಮ್ ನಾನು ರಮೇಶ್ ಮಾತಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ಮೇಡಮ್ ಮೇಡಮ್ ಈಗ ರೆಸಿಡೆನ್ಸಿಯಲ್ ಸರ್ಟಿಫಿಕೇಟ್ ನಾವು ತಗೊಂಡಿದ್ದೀವಿ ನಾವು ಡೊಮಿಸಿಯಲ್ ಸರ್ಟಿಫಿಕೇಟ್ ತಗೋಬೇಕಾ ಆರ್ ಯು ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಕೋಚಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸೈನಿಕ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಯು ಅಪ್ಲೈಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸೈನಿಕ್ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಎಂಟ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ನೋ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ನವೋದಯ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಸೊ ನಾಟ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಡ್ ಸರ್ ಸೊ ಸೈನಿಕ್ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ತಗೋಬೇಕು ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಡೊಮಿಸಿಲ್ ಬೇಕು ಎಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸರ್ ಎನಿ ಅದರ್ ಕ್ವೆರಿ ಮೇಡಮ್ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಯಾ So, exam centers will uh, allotted uh, yav base mail maartar madam number of candidates uh, illa you know, nearby centers sir it will yes, be yes madri ma'am will explain sir for navodaya you are asking sir yeah ma'am yeah it will be nearby center uh, nimdu yav area allocation okay, sir. takondirtira alva adr basis mele maartare okay okay thank you ma'am sir ಹರ್ಷವರ್ಧನ್ ಪೇರೆಂಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಸೈನಿಕ್ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಫೀಸ್ ಹೇಗಿದೆ ಮೇಡಮ್ Uh, it varies around like 1 lakh 27500 to 1 lakh 67500 ma'am it depends uh, and depends of they will uh, give uh, some scholarship based on the students merit after the joining uh, yeah after the joining they will check with the merit basis uh, how the student is performing then only they will get a scholarship uh, based on the parents income also okay ma'am okay thank you okay, okay. per year ma'am yeah per year Per year, ma'am. Whole academy. 